All right, guys. So in this particular video, I want to talk about an underrated bank that a lot of people don't really talk about. Uh, it's called Citizens Bank. Um, they're a regional bank, meaning that they're only in certain regions, certain states of the country. So you just have to Google and see if they're available in your state. Um, so with this particular card right here, they offer um, $325 when you spend $5,000 in the first 90 days. 1.5% um, in rewards on everyday expenses after 0% uh, interest for six months. And then this one is 0% interest for 12 months. Uh, so they offer great business credit products and they also are known for giving out high limits uh, on the personal uh, 25,000, 20,000, and they go up to 25,000 on the business side. I only got approved for uh, six or 9,000. I believe I had 0% interest for like six or nine months. Um, at the time, which was several years ago. Um, so this is a great uh, regional bank that you guys should definitely be applying to. The great thing about this, this is a soft pull, um, soft pull on your Equifax. So they are going to pull Equifax and they also offer, which I'm going to show you now, uh, they offer, off, also offer business lines of credit. Again, business lines of credit, typically as a general rule, your business has to be two years or older. Okay. And again, one thing about regional and local banks, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times they will actually verify your business. Meaning if you don't have an online presence, what does that entail? Like, uh, if you don't, like if I Google your business and it doesn't show up like, or has, have a, has a website and the website matches like your business address, your phone number, your professional email, you will get denied. Um, or they'll try to ask for more information. Um, so they want you to have some sort a some sort of presence online, some sort of footprint, a business website, make sure everything matches your business address, your business phone number, and your professional email. Um, because you want to look legitimate, especially um, because they're not asking for any docs, right? No, no bank statements. And let me clarify what that means when they ask for bank statements. I mean, when they when people when you hear the term no docs, what that specifically means is they don't ask for bank statements because they're they are low doc programs well they'll ask for three months bank statements but no tax returns uh, no docs is no bank statements no tax returns no basically proof of income right a lot of applications you you submit it's just stated income you basically tell them hey this is what my business does and they don't really verify it so a no doc problem it's exactly that they don't verify your like your bank deposits with bank statements, no tax returns, so actually see what your business actually made. Um, so that threshold of up to fifty thousand, that's where most people stand um, as far as uh, you know providing no docs. Anything after that, they will do a, a, a lot more due diligence. They're going to ask probably two two years tax returns, minimum of one, last three, maybe six months of bank statements to make sure that your your cash flow positive. Um, so that's something you need to consider. And just, just keep in mind, like I said, you want to make sure that you have some sort of, for local and regional banks, um, compared to big banks, the, the national banks, Chase American Express, they're not going to Google, they're not going to take the time. It's a, to, uh, it's like an automated system. They're not going to take the time to actually uh, look you up. Local and regional banks, they're known to do that. I've experienced that most in most regional and local banks that I've applied to. They will look you up. They'll say like, what, what's, if you have an Amazon store, they'll say, okay, what's your Amazon storefront? E-commerce store, let me get your website. You do consulting, what's your website? You know, what's your email? What's your business phone number? You know, uh, what's your business address, right? You want to make sure that they align um, because they will verify that. Or they'll take a look at it, do a quick Google search, make sure that you, you're uh, as legit as possible uh, before they, they they lend you out the money. So they, this bank is, is really good at, at um they give high limits on the personal up to 25,000, the same in the business. Um, so you get a 25 or $20,000 uh, credit card and also a business line of credit. So when you go in here, what will happen is you fill out this information. You, you keep going all there, all the way through the application. Then it's going to say either pending review or you've been approved for X amount. For me, when I applied, they needed some information. It was just basically they needed the articles or organization and the EIN because some of the things didn't match up. Um, but that's essentially it. Um, this is a great bank that you should consider applying to. Again, they offer, I like to stack, I like to get, first, I target 0% interest credit cards. Anywhere between six all the way up to 18 months. All right? You want to do that because you want to avoid paying interest. And another 
uh, bonus or, or thing that I look for is 0% interest for the, for the uh, six to 18 months and or on balance transfers. That's great because let's say you, you already had a, a, a car that was ran up to a certain amount, 10,000, 20,000, and you apply for a 0% interest on balance transfers and you have the same amount, you can move that line of credit to the other card on a balance transfer. Yeah, you're going to pay a fee, uh, but it's worth it because then now you went from 18, from 12 months at 0% to another 12 months or another 18 months or another six months at 0% interest. So uh, this is a great bank that you guys should definitely check out, Citizens Bank. Again, it's only in these certain states, certain regions, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York. Uh, you, you guys see that up there. Google it, see if it's around you and definitely apply. Let me know. Um, let me know what, what your what your experience has been. But also let me know in the comments what uh if you have you guys have any questions, I'll make sure to make videos on questions you guys have. But um data points you should be at. I would prefer you'd be at a 720 or above. I've seen people get approved for a 680 at, at a 680, but 720, uh your 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 chances increase dramatically compared to a 680 and or you get higher limits. So um that's my time. My name is Toby Rosario. Peace.